Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are back for some more LA Classic Eats. Yes, we've been here a few times before, but oh, yeah. we always have to come over here when we're in LA as, as much as we can. So we come here, what, every couple years or so, baby? Over here at Langer's, yes. Yeah. Uh, it is definitely worth highlighting. Yes. To us, it's the, one of the best pastrami sandwiches on the West Coast. Yes, it is. Right. Yeah, this, we're going to try some other things too, right, babe? We are, for the first time. Yeah. So uh, we're going to head in there and uh, get some grub. I'm ready. Ready? Ready. At Langer's, this is a must. You have to come here and get this one. Number 19. That is the classic. That's the classic right there on their fresh dry bread that they make here in house. It is a must. But we're trying other things as well. We're going to try the number three right here. Which is like a Reuben. Yep. And we're going to try some chili cheese fries. With pastrami. With pastrami. We never got that before here. We're ready. So I was corrected. The corned beef, as delicious as it is, I want the grilled one. So the grilled Reuben is number 88, which is the one right here. Hot corned beef, sauerkraut, and Swiss cheese, and it is on rye. Yes, that's the one we want right there. That's the one. Before we kind of dig in, let me give you a little history of Langer's. As you saw, they're celebrating their 75th anniversary this year. So they've been making sandwiches for a pretty long time. Not only that, but they are Michelin rated, as well as Zagat Award, and James Beard uh, winner, uh, recipient. So, you know, they don't just hand out these awards to just any place, right? We are starting out with the famous chili cheese fries with pastrami. Look at this. Last time we were here, we just got just a plain order of regular fries, which were very good. But tell me, this one just elevated not only to the next level, but two levels up. Beyond the next Beyond. level. Beyond. So, you know, we have to try the pastrami, right? We have to. Here we go. They just deliver the rest of our sandwiches. But that is the most tender and juicy pastrami that I've ever had. No kidding, no joke. These guys know how to do pastrami. Perfect mixture of fat, meat, the right amount of saltiness on this thing. You know, sometimes you get a, some pastrami, it's a little bit too too salty or too, too briny, right? But not this. They have this master, and that's without even tasting the chili and the cheese yet. Wow. They're making my mouth water, babe. And it's steaming. It's a steamer. Homemade chili. Honestly, if we just came here for this, I'd be happy. We didn't even touch the sandwiches yet. Crazy. Him explaining this just makes my mouth water. Of course, I have to try that pastrami. Look at that meat to fat ratio and that bark on there. Mm. The pastrami really melts in your mouth. It, it, it's a melt in your mouth deliciousness that comes over this. And then to get that homemade chili along with that cheese and that pastrami on it, you can see nice, oops, freshly done. Wow, that chili is good. No spice at all in that chili. Let's have this little bit of chili with that little bit of pastrami. Chili and pastrami, it's a match made in heaven. I know a lot of places do pastrami, but hat, or well, somewhere else too. That doesn't come out. Johnny, it's a Johnny, lot of places too. But these are definitely thickly cut. They're all hand sliced here. Mm -hmm. This is by far 
the best one. If you haven't tried this one, you legit haven't lived. This is uh, probably as close as you can get to an, to an out of body experience. Mm -hmm. This is the Hot Reuben number 88. This is corned beef with sauerkraut, Swiss cheese on their rye that they make. Wow, look at that. That right there is a Reuben and a half. Look how big these pieces are. Uh, we're gonna have to pause it so you can take a picture. Yeah. Right? Russian dressing, as you can see, it kind of looks like a Thousand Island dressing. Yeah, I think so it's similar. Some dill in there. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit right here on my first bite of this Reuben. Okay. Now I'm this ready. is the first first time we ever got corned beef here. Yep. I'm ready. You guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. That Russian dressing really reminds me of a Thousand Island dressing with dill. Because even the dill really comes out. This is melt in your mouth, but this rye bed is perfectly toasted. With this corned beef, you can see they really don't skimp on the meat. This sauerkraut, which I love sauerkraut. Good sauerkraut flavor, matches well with that cheese. It's not heavily sour, which is really nice. And it matches well with the Swiss cheese. The corned beef, thinly sliced. And everybody knows how corned beef tastes. Really good corned beef taste, not heavily brined. I believe the pastrami has more, more spices. It's south size and it's a corned beef, but with more spices to it. And it's smoked, that's how it becomes pastrami. Another bite. Mm. Mm. I can barely talk, I don't even know what to say. This is, wow. This is something everybody has to try. If you're a foodie, you have to come to Langer's. Feel something here. You have to come to Langer's. What we have here is the, really the world famous number 19. It is their hot pastrami on coleslaw, Swiss cheese, Russian dressing. And this has got some weight to it, let me tell you. Oh, look at that cross section. The, the rye bread is not toasted. It is nice and fresh, pillowy soft. Just my fingers touching the outer crust, I could tell how uh, crunchy it's going to be. Look at that. We're gonna stop for a moment just so we can take some pictures, but yeah, I can't wait to bite into this. I'm really uh, excited for this one. Like we mentioned, we, we've had it before. And I, <laughs> it's always, I'm always looking forward to having this number 19. Anyway, enough talk, right? Here we go. First thing that comes is that crunch from the outer crust of that rye bread. My God, just the most delicious rye bread I've ever had. Look at that cross section. It is the perfect ratio between meat, some cheese, uh, the coleslaw on top, of course, with that Russian dressing. I'm gonna try to open it up a little bit for you to see. Oh, look at that. See it glisten in the sun right there? All hand cut pastrami behind the counter. They don't use a, like one of those slicing machines. It's all hand cut over here. Wow. This is by far the best pastrami sandwich that I think both of us have ever had. Yes, we've been to Cat's Deli in New York City. We love it for what it is. But our favorite, our heart, is here at Langer's in Los Angeles, number 19. I probably said number 19 like 19 times already, but it's worth repeating. This is it. This is the uh, epitome of pastrami sandwiches. Is that the right word? Okay, good. <laughs> 
We did our switch, so I'm gonna get to try the Reuben sandwich shop. But before I do, I have not forgot about our friend here, the chili cheese fries with pastrami. It has been sitting here for a few minutes, but look at the steam. It is still hot. Wow. Look at that bite. This is gonna be a crazy bite. So as soon as I bite it, we're gonna do a little cutaway for a second. Ridiculous is an understatement. I love chili cheese fries, but once you put that pastrami on top, not just any pastrami, but a language pastrami. I'm so ready for this hot pastrami. This bread is the winner. So nicely crusty, and it's nice and crunchy, but it doesn't hurt the roof of your mouth. It's soft. You can see the seeds in there. You can see all the meat that's in there. And this coleslaw is slightly sweet. So with the mixture of this pastrami with the little sweetness of the coleslaw with the crunchy bread, all the textures are there. We have the softness of the bread inside or the crunchiness of the bread outside. And you can just go back and forth. You hear that crunch? Mm -hmm. This is how you eat this one. Take a bread, bite of the softness of the bread and everything inside, and then get that little bite of the crunchiness outside. Mm. This is amazing. The price is quite steep, but it's every single bite is worth it. My turn to go deep, babe. Let's go see. deep. What am I gonna get in this bite? Got the, some of the pastrami. Got that chili cheese. Oh wow, that's a bite right there. I know I'm making everybody's mouth drool with this pastrami, chili, cheese, potato. That fry is sitting in that chili cheese, so the fry is soft. It has to still the little crispy edges. And even though the chili has meat in it, this pastrami just enhances that meat factor on top of my fry. Oh yeah. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. My turn for this Ruben. How does that corned beef look? Look, it's still steamy, mm -hmm. right? It's literally been like at least five, eight minutes sitting here. Look at that. Wow. It's a little hard to hold because the sauerkraut is really pouring over the sides of the sandwich. Even though the corned beef is similar to the pastrami, this is a completely different flavor profile on this sandwich. I love it. The Swiss cheese actually really comes through. But it's melted and the corned beef is not salty it's perfect and, and you already mentioned that the that the sauerkraut isn't really too sour so you have the perfect combination of, of the toasted rye and all the ingredients in the middle which is also perfectly proportioned this is a perfect movie sandwich and, you know we don't get too many i think i got one from arby's but this is really no comparison to that one. Yeah. This is the cream of the crop. Definitely yes. worth trying. We're in Los Angeles. Langers, I must stop. Got your candy. If you finish your meal, you get a candy. Yay. No, just kidding, we got it to go. Yeah, we didn't finish it. We only ate half of each. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Now, how is it possible that every time we come here, it keeps getting better and better? That's it almost does. impossible. Mm -hmm. Yep, it, the food here, we've only tried the sandwiches, but 
I mean, I'm a big soup person. They have matzo ball soup. They have to come back and try the soup next time. Right. They go all out on the breakfasts. I just can only imagine if the sandwiches are this good, just imagine their regular plates and their breakfast. Right. Amazing. You can get, the bread is everything in the sandwich, but you can get it without bread if you're not That's a right. bread eater. Right. They serve it to you on a plate. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is so good, baby. It and, is. And my family will make out because leftovers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Langer's delivery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are not done with our no. classic LA Eats. Now, they have their freshly made pies and cakes here, mm -hmm. but we're going somewhere else for our dessert. That's right. Uh -huh. so. And if you've seen our videos and they're in season, you know where we're going. Yes. Let's I, go. I know where I'm going. And we know where we're going. Let's go, babe. Forgot a little side note. The parking lot for Langers is up here, and they'll give you a ticket, and they validate it. And Langers is one block. Down. Yes, that way. You know we have to come here, especially because their strawberries are in season. We'll be back in July, August for their peach ones too, but strawberries are in season. So our dessert for the day it is their strawberry donut. Now the only other location they have, their original location, is in Glendora, and that's 24-7. But here at the Grand Central, it is to whatever hours the Grand Central Market is. This looks amazing look at just this right amount of strawberries in their perfectly glazed donut here we go the glaze and the strawberry are the perfect sweetness it's not too sweet um the donut is not sweet so the sweetness of the strawberry and the glaze, it's a match made in heaven. It is a match made in heaven. I've been using that a lot today, baby. Well, because Very they good. are a match, babe. Very good. And we got, of course, Bill's favorite, two tiger tails, which is a long glazed donut with chocolate. It's like twisted into it, right? Twisted into yeah. it. Oh, yeah, I love, are, I love those tiger tails. These are the ones they were making over there at their donut man. So, must stop, Grand Central Market. I can't believe I'm here and not having a taco, but that's okay. We're having the donut instead. This tiger tail is literally over a foot long. Oh, to mention the original donut man in Grandora, that's on Route 66. So it's on the historic route, right? So um, here we go. I kind of untwist it so you kind of see what it looks like in the middle. It's almost like cinnamon and chocolate, right? Now this is the perfect way to end our, our foodie day here in Los Angeles with the tiger tail from Donut Man. Perfect compliment to Langer's pastrami sandwich. You could eat half of this, take the other half home and almost like having a full donut again. It's one of my favorites, tiger tail. We got some Topo Chico yeah. to wash out those donuts. Yeah. So, how did you like our lunch date? It was amazing. The food was ridiculous, but my company is always so much better. What? Than I'm better than the pastrami sandwich? Yes. You are. Yes. If you're ever in Los Angeles, see where we went on our first LA Classic Eats. In addition to that, add these two places on your list. Yes, and again, I don't know why I'm here at Grand Central and not getting a taco. 
but uh, we have to. Right, yeah, right. We have to. We're, we're full. Like, we're full. Yeah, we're full. so. But, yeah, Grand Central is the place to be when you're hungry. Oh, and maybe, maybe when you're not hungry because you're going to want everything when you're here. Right. So, it is just crazy here. Yeah, thank you so much for coming along on our uh, lunch adventure with us. Do you have any shout outs, babe? I do. Uh, T.K. Harmon, happy birthday. And Deanna, Deanna's dad, happy 81st birthday. Chuck, happy birthday. Gabby, happy graduation. Yes. Dr. Joseph, happy bar, bar mitzvah. Yes. And Chuck and Deb, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. All right, well, that wraps up another LA Classic Eats yes. edition. Yes. We love doing these, these are right in our backyard. They are. Yeah, and there's still a lot more to cover. There is. A there lot is. more. Yeah. Yeah. So until our next adventure. We'll catch you on the next one.